Okay, guys, there's this trending video about Aisha Yusufu where um, Kemi Oluloyo um, made a tweet based on what Aisha Yusufu said that um, the DSS after Aisha Yusufu, they should go and arrest her. And um, Aisha Yusufu has come out to reply um, Kemi Oluloyo and sent, she has also sent a message to the DSS. You know, I didn't want to talk about this, but when I looked at it, come, you know, Aisha Yusufu is one of the activists we have in Nigeria. I heard strong. It's your popo. She know they hear. So she she came out and she sent a message to Aisha Yusuf and the DSS. The DSS, I think this is misplaced priority. They don't really have anything to do. They haven't got a job to do because if they do, the insecurity, crimes, kidnapping that is going on in that country that they've not been able to bring the people, you know, people carrying out these atrocities to book, but they want to go after you know, same people. Anyway, listen to Aisha Yusuf. Uh, so let me let me even apologize beforehand. Maybe I, I might get a bit angry as I go on. Um, for me, I, I always my my inside matches my outside. The way I feel, that's the way I react to things. And uh, and uh, if I'm angry, you're gonna see it. If I'm funny, laughing, whatever. So I did a tweet yesterday, and that tweet was simply saying that uh, Nigeria does not have a president. That's the you know grim truth. That that's a grim reality that we all have to face. Of course, there were people, some of them, you know, insulting, cursing, all sorts of things. There was even one that was like, "Oh, uh, is this not a treasonable uh, comment? Shouldn't the security agents be doing something about it? Shouldn't anything be doing? Any, uh, uh, shouldn't something be done about it?" And I replied to it, and I was like, "Just imagine yourself." You are you, you are a citizen, you are not a slave. But see the way you're thinking that oh all of a sudden they should come and arrest me because I said there's no, you know, there's no president in the country. People are being killed, people's lives are not being protected, kids are being taken from their houses, they are being killed, and yet all you're thinking about is to defend, you know, one drug dealing uh, uh person indicted in drug dealing certificate forger and all and all of that that can't if that doesn't even care about you so i did all of that and i left you know one of the things about having so many followers especially on twitter is that i don't get to see a lot of messages that people post sometimes it takes this and i just went in today and i saw this uh, message from a lady called that calls herself an investigative journalist uh kemi Olu, Olu, no law or something or something like that and she's like oh yeah nigeria has a president aisha nigeria has a president leave the country uh, if you if you don't if you think so that dss are discussing your matter i'm like what's st what stupid mentality is that that you're telling me more aisha Yusufu, that i should leave the country no it's tenable that we leave the country tenable left before did he not did he not go on exile before? He's the same one that will leave that country again and not Aisha Yusufu. For people, you sit down and think that this country belongs to certain people, that I should leave the, the country for some for some people. Nigeria does not have a president. I didn't put much water in my mouth when I'm saying it. I am saying it and I am repeating it. Nigeria does not have a president. That thing that is occupying Aso Villa is not a president. That thing rigged his way into office. That is not a president. And you know, there's something my husband always says. Anything he says that thing is bust my head. I, and I might not be able to quote him very well. He always says, you know when people are talking about, oh, are you not afraid your wife will be this or that, your wife will be killed, or you will be killed, or you yourself, they will come after you, this, 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 that. He always says, hey, look, he says, let me, I'm not continuing that. We are, we, we are born here. We are of here. We go nowhere. We die here. This is our country. Anything that will happen, let it happen. DSS. I looked at, I said DSS. DSS, that useless organization is the most useless intelligence agency in the world. That Nigerian, that DSS, SSS, they call themselves. It's one, is the most useless of the security agencies in Nigeria. DSS will never have intelligence on people who are terrorizing Nigeria. DSS will never have intelligence on people who are killing Nigeria. It is on innocent citizens that they have intelligence on. It is when they are planning peaceful protests that all of a sudden the DSS they have intelligence. People are killing people are killing Nigerians in the in the forest. Where is DSS? That more Aisha is super should be afraid of DSS. Ta! Then bond them well, let them come and arrest me. What are they going to do that terrorists are not already doing? Oh, they are going to arrest me. Eh, uh -huh. Aren't terrorists abducting people, kidnapping people? At least when DSS arrest me, I won't pay, I won't pay ransom. Or what else? They are going to kill me. I was born to die. I'm 50 years old. You think I'm afraid of death? 
A young girl was killed this year, just this year that we enter, last month, January. A young girl was killed. What was her crime? Nothing. Simply staying in her house. They came, they abducted her and her, six, uh, and her five sisters. They killed her because ransom was not paid. Her result recently came out. She made a first class. A first class brain was not protected by this country. Citizens are being killed. Children, another one, 13 year old. She was killed. She was, she's the firstborn of her parents. They kidnapped, they kidnapped them at, at that same time. And they took her, because they didn't pay a, a ransom on time, they killed her. And you think I'm, bet, I'm better than the people that they're abducting and killing. So if DSS want to kill me, they should feel free and kill me. If it's arrest that they want to arrest me, okay, what is it? I eat once a day, so they won't even be spending too much money on me. I live 30 minutes away from their office. They, they, are, they know my address, they know my phone number, they know my everything. So they're not going to even be looking for me anywhere. Even if they call me and tell me to come. More, I will carry myself and go. Who is afraid of arrest? Who is afraid of arrest? The people in prison are freer than the people that are outside. At least somebody will be there guarding me. Rather than this one that we are all. Who is guarding us? That they sit and tell me that, oh, DSS, DSS, they are talking about you. They will come and pick you. Face your family. Face yourself and face your family. Nigeria is my family. And I'm facing Nigeria. On my 40th birthday. I made a pact between me and my God. There was nobody there with me. It was me thinking in my thoughts, meditating between me and my God. And I said to God, if you give me another 40 years and I live here for another 40 years, I'm going to devote it to Nigeria. And I've just done 10 years of that 40 years I said, if God gives me. So if God gives me that 40 years that I asked for, I have 30 more years. And on my 80th birthday, if I'm still alive on my 80th birthday, that's when I'll be like, Nigeria matter, I will hands up. I will not be doing my baby girl, my old woman baby girl. Bell until then. Until then. You people are going to hear me on this Nigerian matter. Somebody said, oh, Aisha, eh, if not, you will die for, eh, you will die for nothing. I'd rather die for nothing than to live for nothing. It's you people that are afraid of death. Since 2014, I've been saying yesterday's uh, victims were one survivors. Today's victims were yesterday's survivors and tomorrow's victims will be today's survivors. You think I was talking to you? No, I was talking to myself. Telling myself that those people that I see today that they, they killed them yesterday or today, they, will, they also survive. That's uh, me too. I'm a potential victim waiting to happen. I've known that for years. I wait for it. I, I don't, I'm not missing what we're running away. Coming to tell me that DSS are on my matter. DSS are discussing me. Let them, because they are so useless. That's why Isaiah is whose matter they will put on the table. Not matter of securing the country. Not matter of, of ensuring getting intelligence that we ensure all of those terrorists, all of those kidnappers, all of those Fulani terrorists and whatever that are all over the places that they will go after them and get them and you know, Go do the needful with them. It's like Isha Yusuf. Now Isha Yusuf, now they bust on her head. Me, me, na, me na come arrest me. Now me, I know they run anyway. I stay here. I travel in and out of this country. Yes, because for me, staying in Nigeria is not that, oh, it's a must, I must stay in Nigeria. That's why I always say people, I said, I, 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 can't, I don't want to be a public servant. I love my freedom. When I went, I sit down here, my daughter will say, oh, mommy, you know, da, 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 da. and I'll look at her and say, ah, you want me to come? She's like, yes, I want you to come. I want to meet my husband. I say, oh, see what, daughter? He say, maybe she needs you over there. I say, the next thing, they don't cut ticket for me. I don't travel my own work. I go stay as I have to stay. One month, two, two months, two, three months, two, or whatever. If I just want to do a few days, I'll do. I will come back. That's where I live my life. I'm not here because I have to. Those of those of those of them with their with because they think they, they have to uh, uh, passports that they can do and not do. More, I don't have any other passport. I am not interested in any other passport. I have Nigerian passport. My green white, uh, my green passport. See it here, my green passport. This is what I ha have, and anywhere, everywhere, I am proud of my green passport. I they take and work. I know they collect nonsense from anybody. If they, I, they take and work out proudly anywhere. I don't need, and the fact that I don't have a second passport is because it's not because uh, I, I don't, I couldn't get the opportunity or I didn't want. It's me deliberately. I didn't want to. Remember when the UK were doing their uh, what, what the entrepreneurship way that you get? How much was it that you invested? You have a pathway to get it in like three whatever years, three five. You get your um, you get your a, a British passport or whatever. I knew a lot of my friends that were disturbing me. Oh, I shall get. I said no. I am okay with my Nigerianness and nobody. 
Nobody, they don't burn that person well that would make me leave Nigeria for that person or make me leave my country. No, you would rather. Kukuma came, I told the SSO, I've recently lost 20 weight, uh, 20 kg, and I even want to lose more 20 kg. So I eat once a day. They don't need to feed me too much. I need small space for my exercise. She came up. I'm good. I, I'm not breastfeeding any child. My youngest child is 22. And in my house, we discuss death. Even in my parents' house, we discuss death. It's a normal thing to us. We are born to die. We are not the one that, oh, they, they are afraid of death. We, it's, it's something that we discuss casually and whatever. It's a matter of fact in life. So there's no any thing that I'm afraid. So even if they kill me, they will not even find my cost will not be too heavy for them to, to, to carry. For all of those of you sitting down and all you're thinking about is, oh, DSS, she come and arrest her. DSS, oh, your cup will be full. You will do this, you will do that. Let my cup be full. What will they do that they have not done before? What will they do that terrorists are not doing? There's nothing. The good thing that government do, which is to provide, which is to protect lives and property, they've not been able to do it. This legitimate government that is being headed by Tinubu, they've not been able to do it. Economic empowerment, they've not been able to do it. It's to steal, it's to loot from the masses. That's what they know how to do. Good governance, they don't know how to give. Development, they don't know how to do. Economic uh, empowerment, you know, to work on the uh, uh, economy of a company. Even stability, you know, fiscal policy, zero. Monetary policy, zero. So what is it? Who are you sitting down? Is it those people that are afraid of you? Or those people that are looking for peanuts from you? Or those people that are waiting for you to give them contracts? You think those are the kind of people that Aisha Yusufu is? God forbid you can't give me what God has not given to me. And what God has given to me, nobody, they don't burn any of them away. May take an out for me. You can't. You can never. You understand? You can never. So you sit down there, you're saying, that, oh, they should come and arrest her. Isha, Yusuf, they should come. Let them come and arrest me now. Who oh, they fear arrest? Where thing? They break here in a skull. Now bring the inside. Nothing else. Where the blood go come up, person go die. And... When I dare alive, they are sitting down there. Oh, Aisha Yusuf should be arrested. Oh, Aisha Yusuf, they are going to arrest you. DSS, is, that DSS person, those DSS people, eh, that are discussing my matter, I've told Kemi, she should go and ask them whether they've paid their allowance. Let's start from there.